Hello and welcome to this installment of Trust Me, featuring Tara Lightnin, musician and excavator enthusiast Will Ross, the one and only Alexandria and Justin Booth. And I'm your host, Jeff Johnson. Moving on to our next segment, I'm going to show you an item. And together we're going to try to work out what this item is. Honestly, I just right click saved the picture from the internet. So I don't even know what the item is. So we're not actually going to come to a conclusion per se, but maybe somebody uh, online has an idea. I actually shared this item on Trust Me social media earlier and got some ideas from, uh, from our fans. So I might mention some of those too. So, oh, that's beautiful. So it, it is appears, lovely. It appears to be made from silver. Mm. Uh -huh. contains, uh, I know what it is, Jeff. It's got like a that cone, is a, little ringy it's thing. A put out candles. It's a fancy candle a snuffer. Put outer. Oh, it's a oh, keychain snuffer. snuffer? Really? No, it's <laughs> but it's got like, it's got like uh, gas too many it, holes the filigree and, and stuff. stuff still be able yeah. to breathe. So I don't, I don't, I don't know if I. And what's I the little it. loop for? I think it could be a bottle opener, maybe. Mm. Bottle. Uh, a shoehorn for midgets. <laughs> Why so for me? Werewolf's worst it's nightmare. Thing, because you could stab the werewolf with silver. Oh, but it's not. It's not really ideally formulated for stabbing, is it? Uh, I don't know. You could put its eye out with it. Maybe it's like <laughs> a really interesting monocle, where Ooh. the monocle goes in your eye, and then that goes like over your ear to create and some sort of hearing thing we as have, well. Like a cone, like a. It's like, like a, a like a medieval hearing aid <laughs> slash monocle. Um, all right. It's an <laughs> early generation thought bug where they didn't quite understand that the hollow end, like the narrow end has to go first. I'm, it's I'm, funny, I was thinking they were trying out things. If you're trying it out, they didn't quite really get it. Every single one of these, I'm sure somebody's gonna go, it's probably a butt plug. Um, I mean, it probably just holds flowers, like a bouquet for a thinking. wedding or something. Like a ring, like a ring, goes around oh, your yeah. finger. Yeah. Or like your thumb or something, you, like, you can loop it on, but then the stems of the flowers just go into that little carved bit yes it's a beautiful wedding trinket yes <laughs> a wedding trinket oh, like a wedding gift just yeah like a no it like a wedding a accessory candlestick holder for like candlelight vigils where you wrap that thing around your finger and then you got the candlestick coming oh, up oh like, that's like at the end of Baba's, Baba's kind of funeral thing. when josh yeah. came out he, he exactly. probably yes. it's a, it's when a josh saw the light European thing <laughs> All right. Well, so we did. Can you can you can you smoke anything out of that? You can smoke anything out of anything. Yeah, if you want uh -huh. to. Yeah, it's kind of like a, anything's a butt plug if you want it to be. You can smoke yeah. anything out of anything if you want to. Bad. Um, here's, here's a couple of ideas that that came from the social media feed when I sh shared this earlier. Um, an antique shiwi with a handle. Like That's, a yes. Mm -hmm. My grandma had one. <laughs> one, of, one of these. One of these beautiful silver ones. I think hers was brass. We weren't, they weren't very rich. Oh, you couldn't afford the really nice Victorian era sheenus. <laughs> Someone else put a, a, a vintage IUD used only by those of royal blood. So you <laughs> shove that up your hoo hoo with the chain hanging out? Well, yes, I'm interested. I'm it interested. <laughs> that, like, is this to scale? This could be something that's hanging up in a cathedral somewhere. It has like a key It, it, it seems. It. It seems like it's not like the photo isn't to scale and that this is actually a larger piece, which makes it ve seem very strange as some sort of contraception that you would actually insert into a human body. There is a finite amount of space. The next and like that... four or five are all butt plug related. Uh, <laughs> Go on. Seriously. Um, a royal fly swatter hung by the royal. So maybe we're seeing the perspective wrong. Maybe it's not a cone. Maybe it's just a flat thing for oh, maybe mm. it's not necessarily a cone i guess the no it is not. It's a sh maybe it is. it's a fan no that's no. a useless little fan no 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 i mean that those are like separate pieces that oh, are all like folded fold together out. and they actually unfold to be a fan like i mean you've got the handle at the bottom when did little... you smoke did you take five minutes <laughs> to smoke <laughs> halftime break hit tara pretty hard <laughs> <laughs> that steampunk fantasy is going on mm, someone else said a bottle opener yeah. It's just, I, if that's a bottle opener, the, you better be, you better have the outfit to fucking do-si-do <laughs> well, with that. Like, it's got to be, like, full ball gown, corset, 
Yeah. Let me grab powdered, my bottle opener. Yeah. A powdered yeah. wig. Yeah. Alexandria is only halfway there. To that yeah. It's opener. the handle to a really fancy bidet. I've ever seen an old school one. You oh. Put the there, right? water so you have the keychain there and you're like, eh, and then you pull it and then it's like, flush my ass with water. Oh, I see. That pulls the, and then the water oh. down. Maybe that it is, is like a logical possibility. Yeah. Like, if you like a, a little. You're ruining tiny, the show. A little tiny screw, not a screwdriver, but like a little tiny, like a tool that you like twist things open or close things and you need them to go places. <laughs> like, I just, like some sort of magic key. Okay. Can we put those words in a different order and have no. make sense? <laughs> Fine. And, and so one of the other ones that came up on the social media feed. You can put your weed in there. I'm sure, get, I'm sure that'll come up pretty much. Kara, are one. you interested? Could you put your weed in <laughs> oh, that? I am. I, that's <laughs> just, that seems like irresponsible weed smoking in that device. Yeah. Too holy. It's too holy. All Shit's right. falling out. So what Who's got a fucking filter that big? Well, no, if you put a fat nug in there, though, that wasn't cut up. Yeah, but it's still, it's gonna, shit's gonna fall out. It's messy, messy, messy. It's a messy business. I don't, know. you're not smoking anything out of that. I think it's going back to the, one of the original ideas. I believe that it is a candle snuffer. It looks, it looks like something that I'm, like someone would wear in a monastery or like a priest or something and it would hang from their belt and they'd be like, oh, say no more, say no more, say no more. I don't know what they say in churches. Yeah, what I would they? burn. <laughs> I would fucking burn. Okay, yeah, you no. have no idea what that is. I like the candle sniffer idea as a legitimate one um but i don't really know if i like legitimate ideas i, I like still the like to nothing, have nothing. like some closure it'd be nice to see a ridiculous thing i want to know what you, you should yeah. probably yeah. next know time you answers. do this segment you yeah. have to know what these objects are yes exactly oh, yes. you want the internet Thank to you. tell us what these objects are no, so, no. yeah yeah people are online no. and they know what it is tell us what it is i want uh, the truth you want the truth so right I. now right now yeah. this is the problem with your generation instant gratification is oh, all you shut up i'm older than you and i want to know right now